You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Pink Ladies Slipper, Cypripedium, a call. The best place to find Pink Lady Slipper is in pine lands or other acidic soils in eastern North America. The approximately one foot tall wildflower has a symbiotic relationship with a particular soil fungus and therefore should not be transplanted. During spring months, the first shoots of Pink Lady Slipper appear. If you're lucky, you may even notice the dead leaves from the previous year at the same spot. The two leaves grow taller. From above, you can see the two leaves, one tucked inside the other. There are two Pink Lady Slipper plants in this photo. The leaves grow larger and become distinctly separate from each other. Here's a plant which will bloom this year. It's a bit fatter down between the leaves because a week later its flower stalk and flower bud arise from the center between the two leaves. This set of leaves is spreading to look broader and flatter. Now that it's later in the season, we can see that it will not be blooming this year. There is no central flower stalk. The flower bud begins growing upwards even while the leaves are still closely furled. The pink lady slipper leaves grow wider at the same time the flower stalk, or peduncle, grows taller. The flower bud is covered with a bract. Looking down onto the bract. A closer view of the bud with its bract. The sepals are beginning to separate. Notice how all parts of the plant are covered with fine hairs. This pink lady slipper is just at the beginning of its blooming phase. Here's a close view of the opening flower bud. The flower opens. The bract and sepals are still pointing down around the flower. With this flower, the wider sepals and narrower petals are lifting and spreading. The sepals and petals spread up and out to reveal more of the flower. The flower is fully revealed and the two side petals curl and twist. Check out this beautiful pink lady slipper, whose leaves persisted in growing up through last year's dried oak leaf. The pink inflated pouch or slipper is a single petal. The pouch's deep fissure is a signature characteristic of this particular species of lady slipper. In addition to the pink petal, there are two more petals and sepals. The narrow petal is curling. Here are the sepals and the bract. This view of the back side of the flower shows the sepals which are wider than the petals. Another view and a different view of the green bract over the flower. Can you find the pink petal? At least one side petal sepals, and bract. I'd like to point out one other flower part which is not immediately obvious, the ovary growing between the bract and the flower's petals and sepals. Timothy Spira wrote a lengthy and informative description. Conspicuous vein-like lines and a sweet odor direct large bees, mainly bumblebees, to a small opening in the large pink pouch. Once inside, Bees first brush against the stigma, which is built like a comb to remove pollen, and then an anther, which contains a sticky mass of pollen, after which they exit through a small opening at the base of the flower. If a bee visits another lady slipper, the stigma rakes off the previously deposited pollen, resulting in pollination, and the anther pastes a fresh load of pollen onto the bee's thorax. However, because no actual reward is provided, Pollinator visitation rates are very infrequent, and fewer than 5% of the flowers typically mature fruit. If a flower is pollinated, the resulting fruit contains thousands of tiny, wind-dispersed seeds. Very few seeds find the right combination of microclimate, soil, and symbiotic fungus to germinate and establish a new plant. The very shallow root system doesn't typically penetrate the mineral soil 
but rather resides in the organic matter immediately above it. The dying flower hangs below the fertilized ovary. A plant which has been successfully pollinated will have a green ovary. As compared to a plant which was not pollinated, it has a shriveled brown ovary below the bract. If we touch the brown flower, it drops from the plant. Let's look closer at the dried material and see if we notice any of the parts we've seen before. The green bract remains at the top of the peduncle. The fertilized green ovary is now designated as the seed capsule. It keeps its covering green bract, and the dried flower may hang on for quite a while longer. Gradually, the seed capsule swells with maturing seeds. The seed capsule, bract, and peduncle turn yellow and then brown. If you have sharp eyes and know where the pink lady slipper bloomed in the spring, you may find the brown and broken seed capsule in the fall or winter. By the way, the leafless peduncle which supports the single flower of pink lady slipper is referred to as a scape. This view shows the fine hairs or pubescence on the scape. There are two scapes in this image, this year's and last year's. As we saw, the spring leaves initially grow straight up. They have distinctive ridges. The leaves are as pubescent as the rest of the plant. The two leaves become separately distinguishable. You can see the fine parallel veins between the deeper furrows. The leaves grow longer and begin to spread out and down. Eventually, the two leaves become wider and spread outward from the plant's center. The deeply pleated and broadly oblong leaves are typical of Pink Lady's slipper. Sometimes there will only be a single leaf. This is probably a young plant in its overall number of years. As plants acquire more years of growth, they typically have two basal leaves. During summer months, the four to eight inch long leaves turn a deeper green. Their margins are entire. During fall, the leaves begin dying until they seem to disappear in the overall leaf litter. Now, for a quick review of one year in the life cycle of Pink Lady Slipper, starting with the plant sprouting in the spring with a single flower bud, a single blooming specimen in the woods under a pine tree. More younger, non-blooming plants are in the background. The plant blooms. The flower dies. The seed capsule matures. The leaves become ragged and the seed capsule turns yellow. The leaves die and the seed capsule breaks open to disperse its seeds. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Cypripedium acol, also known as Pink Lady Slipper. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of Pink Lady Slipper for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.